Okay, so here we've got more soccer toe questions. Um, but instead of finding a length this time, we're going to find an angle. So we need to find out an angle. Um, we're going to start by doing the same step as before. We're going to label the triangle. So H is alongside. That's him. O is opposite the angle. And adjacent is in between the angle and the right angle. So in this question, we're not using A because we've got H with 12, O with 7, A's by himself. So we're not using A, so we're using SO. So the first step's the same. Sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. Then we substitute in, um, which leaves us with sine, the angle's X, so we write sine X equals opposite over hypotenuse, 7 over 12. So this time we need to get sin away from x. So what we have to do is we have to do the opposite of sin, do the um, inverse operation to sin, which is called, well, we shift sin on the calculator. So it's sin minus 1, so that shift sin, 7 over 12. On the calculator, you press shift then sin, shift sin, you see the little sin minus 1 above it, shift sin, and then in the bracket, 7 over 12, using the fraction button here um, to write 7 over 12, so shift sin 7 over 12 in the calculator, and that's giving us 35, let's do 1 dp here, 1 dp, 35.7 degrees. Okay, so another one, first step's the same, label the triangle so h um o and a a is with seven h is with 12 o's on his own so we're not using o so it's cos so cos of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse so in this example we've got cos x is seven over 12. To get cos away from x, we shift cos. So shift cos, 7 over 12, and we type that in the calculator. Shift cos 7 over 12 is 54.3. So x is 54.3 degrees to 1 dp. Okay, so we've got h here, o here, a here. We're not using H, so we're using TOA. Tan of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. Um, tan, in this example, tan X equals opposite over adjacent. To get tan away from X, we shift tan. So it's shift tan 12 over 7. That goes in the calculator. And to 1 dp, I've got 59.7. So 59.7 degrees. Okay, let's give these ones a go. So give them, I'll pause the video, pause the video now, and um, try the questions. Okay, so H here, O here, A here. A's by himself, so we don't use A, we use SO. So sine theta, sine of the angle, equals opposite over hypotenuse. So in this example, sine x equals 2 over 10. And to get x away from sin, we shift sin. So shift sin, 2, 10, 2 over 10, sorry, 11.5 um, degrees. So x is 11.5 degrees to 1 dp in this question here. Okay, let's go up here. So we've got H, we've got O, we've got A. H is by himself, so we don't use H, we use TOA. So tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Um, in this example, tan X equals 4 over 11. To get tan away from X, to get X away from tan, either way around, we shift tan. So shift tan 4 over 11, put it in the calculator, and we get 20.0, um, 20.0 20 to 1 dp, 
20.0 degrees to 1 dp. And finally here, so we've got H here, um, O here, A here. H is the longest one, O is opposite the angle, A is in between the angle and the right angle. Um, o is by himself, so we're not using O, we're using ka. So, where can I write? Cos um, theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Cos x in this example equals 7 over 10. To get cos away from x, we shift cos. So shift cos 7 over 10. That's what we put in the calculator. So shift cos 7 over 10, uh, 45.6. So x is 45.6 degrees uh, for this one. It's got a bit messy, but hopefully you can see which one's which.